Well, here we are for stage one for the Van Refit 2016. There's not going to be much of a change in design, it's just a, a start again more than anything with maybe better wearing materials than I used before. Um, this is the driver's side of the van and this is where the bed and seating kind of goes with the cooker behind me. Um, issues we had last year was I made the cooker up to this edge here, that's where the, the door, the back door is and I made it from there to there and because these seats go back at an angle and the cooker is this high, the seat couldn't go back and it had to be fitted further forwards. These are not sliding seats, they do have two positions as you can see from down there, they have a back position and a front position which is a few inches different. That gearbox has a whine. Um, so the two outer seats are in the back position, the centre seat is in the forward position just to show the difference in positions. Um, I need to keep them in the back position otherwise you can only fit small children and tiny adults. And as I want to use this for going off with friends to far places to take photos of strange things and beautiful scenery, I may need a passenger seat. Um, it's not going to be an issue on this side because I can go from there all the way down here to where the slidey door ends because the seating only comes this high which is about 11-12 inches. Um, that height was chosen because it's the height of the wheel well and if you have some tub storage boxes or storage tubs or they also have about 11 12 inches high so tubs can go under and then the full mattressy seating bit on top which takes it up to about here but being foam it, it squishes and also as you can see the seat doesn't protrude much past that it maybe squishes it half an inch so it's not going to be an issue I can go all the way up to there with the seat box but not with a cooking box because the box with the cooker and everything has to be this high and then I'm bound by that seat now do I want to be bound by that seat or do I want to have it in a forward position and just not carry anyone on that side. Okay so now I've got an old tub which has been used in the garden as a planter. Um, you can now see the maximum space available if I stick my tape measure at that end and take that as being my outer edge and then I stretch this all the way to this end. It says swapping hands about 43 inches so I only built two here the year before I didn't use that I do a bit of a void there but if I go and cut it to fit around this section I can come all the way up so I'm touching this and that gets me up to 43 inches from there um, I forgot how many inches you need for a full size full length bed but I think it's a full six foot to qualify as a, a camper if you go with the DVLA um, so then I'd need to add another what, six foot sixty and two seventy two inches call that forty two inches I need another thirty inches forwards of that point um, easy easy do it I'm sure so by the looks of it then I'm having a 42 inch rear side facing seat and if anybody wonders what this bolts for with the bend in it the bend is in it because the mounting has an angle to it by having that bend in it the bolt goes perfectly upright and it went through the other seating 
and the other seating just sat on that bolt and that screwed it down and stopped it bouncing up and down. As for it moving side to side, I had some pointy hooks on the bottom which went into the seat mounting areas which are just were just hooked in and then tightened so they pulled in against the floor mount. So the seat, use the original seat mounting points. Um, at the back here there wasn't no seat mounting points but under the carpet there's some eyewet hooks things for travel straps or whatever and um, it was hooked through one of those with a hooked bolt that tightened that up as well so I'll be using that eyewet there this seat, that's actually a seat belt mounting point because this seat belt here which is for the seats which should be where I'm sat now has a hook and it just hooks on so they're tough, they'll do the job um, but I don't need the belts at the back but there's no point in me ever taking them out you know they're not occupying any space that I need so uh, they can stay there so I had a couple, I had one more mounting point here use the original one there, the original one there the original one there and if I want there's another original one there so it's going to be secure and as I say I now know it needs to be 42 inches um, be carrying these tubs now the question is which, yeah they can go that way so I could get one I think there's space for three, that goes to there two that's to there, yeah easily three three storage tubs under the seat in which can pull out as drawers um, that doesn't add any no weight to them I don't want to add weight to this vehicle um, the engine's not so it's not as good as it should be it's a bit old and worn and the more weight you add to it the slower up the hills it's going to get and it's not that fast as it is so instead of making heavy wooden drawers I'll stick with plastic tubs so we can have these in there the seating over them um, you can't have any you can't have a wardrobe or anything in some of this size there's no height in this vehicle if you sat on your bum there's a few inches from your head to the seat if there were chairs in the back of this I wouldn't be able to use them um, because it's not as high at the back as it is for the driver so no wardrobe no overhead storage areas three tubs and whatever I can build over there I need some ideas for building over there if anybody can give me any ideas what I can build because when on camping trips these seats won't be here these are just for photo trips photo trips the back storage area can stay in um, the cooker for having a brew can stay in and the seats will be in this one will be back to the same position as them so it will be even across the back um, but I need extra bed extension ideas so if anybody has any um, comment down below um, see what we can come up with because what I had last year I ain't happy with it was a bit too a bit too falling apart I want something better stronger um, but I also in the daytime I want to have area to move about I mean the front seats spin we've got captain seats so the front seat spins around so ideally whatever forms the bed extension in this area which will kind of be up to here the double width whatever makes that bed extension would be nice if it could be a table between the two front seats and this back sitting area um, that's what I'm after not only am I sorting out this I've got the electrics to sort out too we've got had a bit of an issue I've got to fit the charger back in and sort out somewhere, I've never had anywhere to put this knob because I never intended on keeping it 
I want it to go digital but for the moment that's maybe not going to happen until towards the end of the year so I need to mount this somewhere in this kind of area so it's just out of the way but accessible for the, the Wabasto but bed, bed's my main priority I need to think of something I can use to extend this 42 inch seat box which comes out to there which is kind of single but the bed needs to come all the way up to here uh, some measurements might be handy grabbing the old tape measure I'm going to measure from that wall to that front edge and then to there so I'll put you down and tell you what the measurements are so the front of this tub is 20 inches and all the way over to the other seat is 37 inches so the bed's going to be 37 inches with 20 inch to cover the storage tubs Thirty-seven inches isn't very wide, but we did it. We've had it. The other one were kind of that size, and the both of us went away. And while there's not space to stretch out, you can kind of both of you sweep on your side, which is all you need. We never have a trouble with that. In fact, that's what we always do. I've always been an on me side sweeper. I, mean, I ain't no starfish. Right, time for me to crack on with these right tricks. Okay now, this is where the cooker pod unit box is going to go. And in the past, we didn't have the hot air for the Webasto or Ebus packer in this corner. It's over that way, but we've moved it to the far corner. Now in this far corner is where the water tubs used to sit and we have two of these and then the cooker box went here I think that kind of design needs to stay it was simple and it worked you put the empty tub at the bottom you put the full tub on top and you had enough space to open the tap and get the kettle underneath it so that worked but this is going to start warming the back of the water which is good for giving you some thermal mass on a night but as it's the empty one that sits on the bottom it's empty it's going to get the plastic hot and it's going to deform if it was the one full of water it might not be an issue so I think I kind of need a shelf so that these are sat above that hot air which can then exit underneath them and it won't be as damaging to the empty one on the bottom because the full one will still be on the top. Right, so I've marked on the floor the furthest that my cup box can come forwards. Right, I've got a bit more marking out and measuring done. That squares off where I can go. I'm not going to have a shelf on my tubs anymore. They're just going to sit on the floor as they did last year with the side there. And that's how they kind of sit and they don't fall over because that's where the cook of it is so shifting them out of your way that's all the space I've got to work with and up to the window so going from here to there I've got 16 inches but we've got the well and so where the well goes, uh, I've got about 13 and a half inches. Uh, sorry for working in English, in me English measurements, but well, that's how I was born. Um, over here, I've got up to about there, which coincides with that little scratch. Going from up here is kind of there. So going from there all the way over here to me scratch, he says uh, is 30 and a half inches. That's 78 centimeters. Turning me tape measure over to the other side. 
my 16 inches is 41 centimeters and my 13 and a half and a bit is 35 centimeters so that's what I've got to work with now before because I have to have um, a top a lid so that there's a, a surface that you can make sandwiches on uh, sandwiches most important of any day trip out so with a sink and a cooker it has to have a top for sandwich making it's the law issues we had before is when it went up it hit this because of the angle so I thought this time the only way around that situation is if I have this top split three quarters of the way down so this quarter comes over that's 25% for you Europeans over and up so it's hinged at the back but this quarter is hinged front to back back to front semantics I want it out and I want a flat edge I don't want to be able to see in to cooker that is covering but you can't have the front all the way up because if, then when you go to take a kettle off it might hit that front and tip water over you so the bit that forms that dangerous edge goes on the top it'll fold over with that one it'll be pointing upwards then but then it'll go up that way and be pointing out so it's out the way kettle comes off without hitting anything the sink sits in there it has a pipe out the bottom which has a push quick hose pipe connector on it which goes onto this push quick hose pipe connector which goes out to my waste tank Bob's your uncle I suppose I've got to build it now I suppose I've kind of designed it in my head haven't I get this wiring sorted out though at some point I said I would do that today I've not got that done yet <laughs> 